Hello, my name is Fiona Martin. I'm an executive committee member for the Society of Industrial and Organizational Psychology South Africa. Today, I want to discuss with you the concept of underemployment, a rather neglected topic in the world of work. Very often, we find that employment status is looked at in two ways. Do you have a job or not? And when the topic of job creation comes about, there's a lot of focus that is placed on the number of jobs, but not actually the quality of jobs being created. So on the spectrum of employment versus unemployment, we find underemployment somewhere in between. Now picture this, have you ever found yourself in a situation where usually involuntarily or because of the economy or other environmental factors, you are forced to take a job where your skills are either not utilized or they are highly underutilized. The role that you take on doesn't require you to apply very often a qualification or skills that you've invested time in getting. Or you get a job, but it only requires you to work a few days a week or half days. But however, you do have availability or you would be willing to work a full week should the opportunity be there. If you currently find yourself in either of the situations that I have described, you possibly are underemployed. That means that your full capacity as a human being, as someone who's in the workplace, is not being used either from a skills perspective or from a time perspective. From a psychological perspective, underemployment can actually bring about similar stress that individuals experience when they are unemployed. Very often because they are not earning the money that they should be or that is commensurate with their skills and the time that they've invested in getting that qualification, their full potential is not being realized and of course the working conditions that they have been forced to work under because of other circumstances are less than ideal. South Africa not only needs more jobs but also better quality jobs, what the International Labour Organization refers to as good jobs. This is where an individual deserves a work environment where they are able to operate at their full capacity, they've got good working conditions, they've got security, they've got dignity, they are prospects of personal development, they have a fair income and of course they've got social protection and are able to provide for their family and loved ones. One of the sub-themes at this year's upcoming SIOPSA conference is that of returning dignity to the workforce. I can't wait for you to join us and be part of this conversation this July. It's happening virtually so it means you are able to attend and participate from anywhere else in the world.